Today's workout's emphasis is on cardio and muscle endurance. You're gonna need lighter weights. I'm using fives, eights, and tens, and get ready to sweat and have some fun. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. Are you ready? We're gonna start with cardio. Okay, so we're gonna hold a stance, okay? Hold a stance, and you can be up here, okay? But we're gonna go as fast as we can, like robot arms, okay? Everything is 45 to 60 seconds. Remember, go at your own pace. Staggered stance, you can be as low as you want. Go. All right, now keep that core tight. Your thumbs can be up or in or whatever, but control that. It kind of looks like you're doing the monkey from the 60s, right? If you don't know what I'm talking about, it means you're young. <laughs> Or you didn't dance in the 60s. I didn't because I wasn't alive yet. Nothing wrong if you were. <laughs> okay, you're halfway. Can you go a little deeper? Make sure this knee is straight up over that heel. Oh, almost like you're doing battle ropes. Remember, you're on pace. Nice little warm up for the shoulder. Let's see if I can not fall over. That would be awesome. I'm gonna get down a little bit more. Three, two, one. Woo. One weight or two. I'm grabbing fives. Okay, so pretty light weight for me. I'll always tell you what weight I grab, even though it's all relative, okay? You're only gonna squat one direction, reach, squat, reach. You ready? Okay, go. Out, turn. Now you could be holding one weight or no weight. Get down in those hips. Turn those knees and toes out. Now your eyes don't have to follow the weight. But do turn your torso with it. You got about 30 seconds. Now remember, you can be slower. Okay, you don't have to be fast. Especially if you're still warming up. Because we'll be repeating these. So you'll have a chance to do it again. 10 seconds, less than 10 seconds. And time. Okay, feet apart. So they're gonna reach down, reach up. Ready? Go. Down, up, down, up. Could you do this without weight? Of course. See, I'm turning my knees, my toes. Remember, if it makes you dizzy to change your eye line the whole time, look straight ahead. 30 seconds. Now, if you can, See if you go a little deeper. You don't have to. Okay. Three, two, one. Huh. I think I'm going to use one weight. I'm going to use an eight. Now I'm still on that same side as when we were here, I'm still here. But this time I'm gonna be stepping back and toward that knee. Back, twist, or back, reach. Okay, ready? Go, step back, reach. Now the reach is gonna be more challenging, longer lever than if you just turn, okay? Notice I didn't turn my head. That's an option for you.
We have a lot of single leg stuff today. Don't worry, we're gonna get the other side. All right, you're almost there. Keep pressure in that front heel. And three, two, one. Okay, so we're gonna start over. Now I'm gonna switch my legs. So I'm here, and I got that little battle rope, okay? Grab water anytime you need it. Nice wide stance with the feet. Come down, ready, go. Think core. You got a little bit of a forward lean, okay? So don't just flick your arms. Don't do this, even if you go slower, okay? Now you don't have to go all the way up here unless you want to. You can keep it lower, but use that whole arm. Okay, with control. So glad I put this mat down, or I would be sliding all over the place. Ah! Can you go faster? <laughs> you don't have to. Remember, you're the boss. I'm just the guide. You gotta do what feels good to you. Three, two, one. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna grab my fives again. Squat, reach, okay? So if you prefer to hold heavier weights, you just need to go slow, okay? Far apart. Okay. Okay, turn. There we go. Oh, I need to step in. That's what I was like. It doesn't feel the same. You can have one weight, especially if you did on the other side. Now, if you're feeling a lot of the traps back of the neck, reach downward a little bit more. It doesn't have to be high. You got 30 seconds. Sometimes those traps will kick in. Especially if you have a little bit of weakness in the shoulders. Muscles tend to take over. I'm turning a little bit more with this one. Three, two, one. Okay. So we got the reach down and the reach up. Ready, go. Now you can always put weight down. You can always switch weights if it starts to, there's a lot of shoulders in this. I realize that. So you can always grab a lighter weight, rest for one of the drills and come back in. We will be working other muscle groups. 30 seconds. You should feel your biceps. Bicep, tricep. A little bit of upper chest on that pressing side. A little bit of core shoulders. Three. Two, one. It's funny, whenever I see time is, I, I speed up, I'm like, oh, gotta speed up. Okay, I'm gonna go to my eight. And I'm on this leg. I'm gonna do that lunge, twist, or reach. Okay, and then step back in. Three, 
two, go. Reach. So make sure you're not stepping too narrow where you're gonna feel very wobbly. Okay, nice wide stance. Right, you can take a bigger, a longer lunge and not go as deep instead of a smaller lunge because those knees will track forward. Take a long step, even if you don't go all the way down. And then you just work toward getting a little bit deeper as you get stronger. Whoa. There's another reason I'm not turning my head. And time. Okay. Lock one. Done. A little sip of water if you need it. Even if you don't, get a sip of water. I am. I have never come across a client that I'm like, you know what? You need to scale the water drinking back. Never. <laughs> It's always like, you can use a little more water. I'm like that. If I don't have water by me at all times, I, will, I could go, I'm like a camel, I can go the whole day. Okay. We got a cardio and it's quick feet, okay? And we're gonna go out and in. You could go slower. I'm, well, I'm gonna go to your right first. I'm gonna say what I'm doing here, okay? Quick feet, out and in, out and in. Quick feet, out and in. Out and in. You could be going slower. Okay. You don't have to be on the beat. I don't care. That's why I pick a mid tempo so you can find a speed that works better for you. I know. I'm compelled to be on a beat and I'm trying to break myself for that. There's a time and place for that. I love moving to a beat. Notice you're on the ball of your foot a lot. Let your heels come down. Let's see if I'm pulling my face. <laughs> so random. Use your arms. Like <laughs> Bend those knees. Go slower. Okay. Just work those arms. Okay, three, two, one, one dumbbell, make it light, because you're going to be going up and over, up and over. You may not want to use a weight. Doesn't matter which way you go, we're alternating. Three, two, one. Go up and over, up and over. It could go in front of you, okay? Oh, here's my song. You ever wake up in the middle of the night and you got a song in your head and you're like, oh man. I went through my Billy Ocean phase. Thank goodness that's over. Up and over. Up and over. Remember, you get tired. Up and over. Use those arms. Use the lower body. I know it feels a lot like cardio. But this is it. You're working upper and lower simultaneously. Heart rate's going to be higher. Three. Two, one. Okay. All right, we have. Mm, I'm debating. I think I can do eight. We got another isometric movement with the legs. Okay. Holding a squat, bicep curl. Okay. Easy peasy, right? Three, two, 
last one. Hips back. Let's go. Right now it's a hammer curl. I've got a slight lean forward, but my back is flat. Uh, you can try to go a little deeper in your squat. Let those arms straighten. Okay, now I want you to flip your grip up. Now that might feel more challenging. You might need to come up a little bit and then come back down. Totally fine. We have a little uh, more, a narrower or more narrow stance. <laughs> 10 seconds. I'm gonna try to get deeper. It's about to go down. Okay, set it down. Ah. Okay, here's where I'm gonna grab my quote unquote heavier. I'm gonna do 10. This is the heaviest weight I'm doing today. I'm gonna be moving your right, well, you're gonna be moving your right leg. I'm gonna be moving my left. God, I've got dad jokes for days. I was raised by my dad, so there was no hope. Okay, so you're gonna be down. You're gonna row and row, row and row. So only your right leg is moving. Ready? Go. Pull back. Just remember what side you did. I'm doing your right side, my left. That'll help, I hope. So I'm, think about Squeezing back. Don't just pull your arms in. Use that back. Try to get that torso twist in there. Should definitely feel that stationary leg. It's already done a lot of work. Rest when you need to. And three, two, one. Okay. Back to the top of that. The quick feet. Out and in, out and in. It could be one, I don't care. Now I'm gonna go this way. All right, here we go. Out and in, out and in, out and in. Remember. Now, if you don't like this movement, do something else. Be creative. I know not every move is for everybody. I love when I see people modify stuff in my class. I'm like, they know what's up. They're not trying to force something. It doesn't work for them. Work, work, work. Mm -mm. Oh, I only did one. Oh. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a hurry and I'm not getting anywhere. I have days like that. It's called overbooking yourself. I have a bad habit of that. I'm just gonna go out and in, and <laughs> time. Up and over. Whoop. Whoop. Use your lower body. Remember, don't use the weight. If you need to rest, don't use the weight. I might even use the three. It's so cute. Okay, go. Oh. Okay, I'm not using the three. Go, go, go. I like that. I thought I needed this. Now, because you've got that twisting and that reaching, you're using that core.
a lot of things we do in life, we turn on a dime, right? It's that I reached for a toothpick off the kitchen table and threw my back out. I hear you. It's always something small like that. And it, then I always feel like I gotta make up a more interesting story. Oh, a toothpick, huh? Okay. What do you do for a living? Yeah. <laughs> Just know, when you don't take recovery, I know I'm gonna lecture you, and rest, time, those things can happen. It happens to everybody, okay? Just take time for yourself. You're not doing hit every day. I have known lots of people to do. Not a good idea. Okay, so I was traveling with your right leg, my left. Now I'm gonna be traveling with your left leg, my right, okay? If you prefer not to travel that leg, you don't have to. Okay, that hinge, go. Okay, wait, there we go. That feels better. Now you can do it either way. I just find this feels better for me. So think about pulling in. See, uh, I know, isn't that cute? Twisting. It's not just the, the row, it's the torso twist as well. And the hinge, you got all kinds of stuff going on. And no, I wasn't just resting, maybe a little. Okay, I'm gonna slow down. Man, that tent feels heavy for me today. Oh. Mm. And three, two, one, OMG. Oh, we have got, I flipped them. <laughs> this, okay, and then we'll do this. I'm gonna do eight. It's all good. I'm human. I'm very human. The more mistakes you make, the more human you are. I don't think so. I don't think there are degrees of humanness. Okay. Yeah. I say it all the time, I'm a reformed perfectionist. Sometimes things are not going to be exactly perfect and they just are what they are. You do the best you can, you know? Okay, flip your grip. I think the only time you really need to be perfect is maybe brain surgery, rocket science, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna get a little lower. How about you? Remember, keep the abs engaged, support your back. Three, Two, one. Oh, lock two done. Yippee. We're going to be on your right leg. Hold weights or not. Okay. You're going to push off. If that push off is not going to work for you, okay, you can do your lunge. I told you a lot of single leg movement. I think I will hold weights. Eight. I'm gonna turn sideways. Okay, so it could be um, not as deep. Okay, four shot. You wanna control that descent. So if you're looking at that and you're like, no way I'm doing that. That's cool, okay? You could even, uh, this is easier. Okay, you could do that. 
because then there's not deceleration on the knee. Okay, if that's what you're worried about. But it is a good thing to learn how to decelerate with the muscles. So I'm pushing off and I'm landing as softly as I can. Like a feather. That's me. I'm a feather. I'm a little heavier than that, but who's counting? Oh. I'm still that quad and my back calf. Three, two, one, ow! Oh. Ski or swing! Okay, here's another one. You don't have to use weight. Okay. Squeeze your squeeze these cheeks. Don't arch. Okay. Three, two, go. You're not going back like this. You're going to neutral. Squeeze. You could have one weight. Okay, it's like that. If you have a kettlebell, you could do that. Use your glutes as a break. You shouldn't feel your low back. Get that hinge in there. Three, two, one. Light again. These fives are my friends. I've got the weight of my left hand, your right. I've got my break. Or I can put my hand here. Or I can put my hand here and guide it. Okay, start. Like you're gonna throw that, but don't. <laughs> now, if you feel like, oh, that is way too much, go lighter, okay? Always, or you can do this. Drive with the hip. It's not just an arm thing, okay? It's a whole body thing. I put my hand here to remind myself, use that oblique, right? That's my break. If I don't stop it and it keeps going, it's back here. So stop that movement. I'm driving off that hip. Remember, you can keep those fingertips on the weight that kind of offsets some of that force. Abs super tight. And time. Okay. Now again, I keep putting these warnings in here because some of these are pretty quick and I want you to use control. So I'm gonna put my left hand on top, my right hand on the bottom. Okay, we will switch our grip when we repeat this. Modification, okay? Right here. Now make sure you stop that. <laughs> I think it goes without saying. Okay. Here or here. Okay, start. So you can make it smaller. Don't hit yourself in the head and don't hit yourself in the nether region. And yes, I agree. There's something wrong with me. Okay, so you got that bottom hand is pulling. That top hand is pushing. It's like my first marriage. <laughs> I joke. <laughs> He's a nice guy. <laughs> we can make it smaller. Okay. 
especially if you're getting tired, you get tired, you take a break. I'm not giving you a whole lot of rest. I know. I didn't have enough coffee, so I'm taking it out on you. Three, two, one. I think all instructors do that, right? Right? Okay. Not the nice ones. Hey, whatever. I'm not for everybody. Okay, here we go. I gave you a long break. It's Laura's story time. Just remember this option. Push off. You're still driving into this leg. Make sure you're not locking that knee. You've got a little bit softness to that joint. Or this. Okay. Remember, we're working on deceleration. I'm trying to get my foot in. There we go. There's that quad. Okay, less than 10 seconds. Three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Dumbbell swung. Okay, so remember this. Don't arch. Three, two, go. Oh. Remember, if you don't feel comfortable swinging weight, don't. Okay? Especially if it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel quite right for you. Hinging and squeezing those glutes. Look as good as the day I met you. I forget just why I left you. I was insane. 30 seconds. Ish. Okay, I'll blink when I read it too soon. I'll be beat to death in Tucson. Okay. How you doing? You doing okay? Yeah? You could be resting. Just do as much as you can with good form. We're not going to exhaustion. Time. We're not part of the pump. We're just... There's nothing positive that comes from that. Okay. This. Okay. Okay, get ready. Now make sure you've switched sides. Three, two, go. So if that feels like you can't control it, fingertips. Call it self spot. Right here. It's just like if you've done boxing, you know I have. Your punches, power comes from the hips, not that shoulder. There's not a lot of power here, so there's a lot here. Just remember that end point. Can you make it a little more dynamic with the leg? Make sure you don't hit your knee with the dumbbell. time. Okay, so you're going to put your left hand on top, right leg, right leg, right hand on the bottom. It's like a game of twister. I hate that game. It's just too up close and personal for me. Okay, here we go. Remember your modifications. Smaller. Baby hammers. Mm. Mm. <laughs> You're like, I'm super angry. Mm. 
Remember to control that end point. Beginning, start, end, start, end. We're start, end. Just have end point. Remember, one hand pushing that top hand, bottom hand pulling. So you're using the legs, right? Keep those elbows in. Three, two, one. Ah. Okay. Gunslinger. Okay. You got your guns in your holes. See, I live in Texas, right? I got I got a north side cow town. People in gunfights all the time. They probably have like, I've, I've actually never been to Cowtown. I consider that touristy. I'm a snob. Sure. Okay. Pull out. Pull out. Quick draw, McGraw. That's me. Wait, wasn't that a zebra? <laughs> wasn't he a zebra and a cowboy hat? Maybe they'll just give up because you're so fast. That's probably the case. Wait. Uh oh, it's that time of day. More coffee needed, please. I'm tight, tight, tight here. And I'm not hiked up here. Do you ever see Quick in the Dead? Boom! <laughs> Random, that's me. Three, two, one. Okay. Wide stance. Turn it out. Like a sumo squat. It is a sumo squat. It's not like a sumo squat. Down. Okay. You're gonna lift, come up, down. Lift, come up, down. Okay, scap raise. So you're lifting thumbs up on a diagonal. Time hit start. We're almost done, people. Peeps. Don't swing that weight. I know we've had exercises where we're swinging. I want you to control on this one. So I have you holding that wider squat on purpose. <laughs> 30 seconds. I'm gonna see if I can go deeper. See if you can. You never know unless you try, right? Keep pressure in those heels. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. We have one more exercise. I'm gonna get this mat out of the way. We're gonna be changing sides every time we come to the back. Okay, I have my hand here. I'm gonna come to you. Up, and then I'm gonna switch. Up, switch, okay? You don't have to do that little hop I did. I'm just perfect, okay? <laughs> Boom. Switch hands. You could be doing this. You don't have to be all skippy. That's a word. It's also a peanut butter. Can you tell I didn't get enough sleep? <laughs> Some people get grumpy when they're sleep deprived. I just get weirder. Now you're hearing all the unfiltered thoughts. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. Be careful switching that way. You see how I opened my fingers? Almost there. Try to turn. You got 10 seconds, then we're done. We get to cool it down. Okay, one more. Bingo. How'd you do? Good? Eh? This is the only acceptable answer. It could be this though. Okay. Pick inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Okay. Take another deep breath. Thank you so much for working out with me. I really appreciate it. I hope you have an excellent day. I'm going to get some coffee <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye.